potential, it's health and well-being. Hello, my name is Ellie and I teach yoga besides lots of other things, but I, I teach yoga to uh, Henshaw service users. So they've asked me to make a little video. It's predominantly aimed at people who can be down on the floor. Um, I will do a chair one if, if um, you decide you like this and you think you'd like one to, uh, aimed at people who are more stuck on a chair, but we're gonna be down on the floor in the main. And uh, that by sitting down, we're gonna cross our ankles so our knees just flop out wide. Now I know from experience of working with some guys that that's a little bit too much, even crossing the ankles. If that's the case, just let your legs flop out to the front. Just be comfortable. Maybe lean against the wall a little bit. Um, see how you go on. So at the minute, we've got our right ankle crossed over our left. We're just gonna rest the hands and the palms and just take a couple of nice, big, soft breaths, allowing the shoulders to relax as we exhale fully. Trying to release the tension that sits in the neck. And then after the next big out breath, we're just gonna start some nice easy upper body movement, putting the left hand down by the side of us on the floor. We're just gonna reach the right hand up into the air and then just bend it over towards the left, cuddling in the ear, right hand down, reach up left, body over to the right. And we're just gonna play around with that for a little bit with the breath, inhale, exhale, just finding that reach up, one hand down, one hand over. One hand down, one hand up and over. And just feel like you're trying to curl the spine sideways rather than just take a big reach sideways. Think I'm curling the spine, just especially around the side of the ribs. Then we're gonna put the right hand on the floor behind us and the left hand on the knee and let the spine just twist around so we can bring our gaze maybe over our right shoulder. Then we're gonna swap that over, bring in the left hand down behind us and the right one over to the left knee and find that easy twist again. Oh, that's clunking and clicking nicely. So we're gonna find the right hand behind, left hand on the right knee. Just bring the twist in. And again, using that twist, left hand behind, right hand on the knee. And it sort of becomes a, quite momentum-y, you know, rolling around, looking over the shoulder, twisting again, glancing over the shoulder. What we don't wanna do is force that shoulder glance. So we're gazing to the front and we're just gonna take a soft forward fold now Then I know from experience that this is not easy for everybody. Some will be able to tuck nicely in and reach forward and just relax down. And some of you will just about be getting the hands maybe on the knees, on the floor, to just find that soft anterior tilt just asking for space, that's all we're doing. We're gonna ease the hands out and cross the ankles the other way so the left ankle sits at the front. If you're not cross-legged, we're just gonna ease the sides and the twist out again. Left hand down, reaching over the ear with the right hand all the way, nice long reach. And then right hand down, side bend over to the right, left hand down, side bend over to the left, keeping our sit bones, our bottom on the floor, right hand down, just finding that lovely, trying not to twist. At this stage, side bend. We don't wanna twist just yet. We're gonna bring the twist in in a second. And then we're gonna bring the twist down. We're gonna put the left hand behind us on the floor, right hand on the left knee, take that rotation around. And then we're gonna uncurl the spine, Right hand behind, left hand on the right knee. Easy twisting. Very floor based, this little yoga sequence. Left hand down, twisting again. 
right hand coming down behind us, left settling on the knee, twisting again, and then we're going to go one more each side. Just, just nice, no force, no pulling, no grunting our way in, just, just letting the body find a little bit of space. Then we're going to reach off to the front, so this might be a high reach with a nice open chest because that's all you have. Lots of, lots of things prohibit this movement. It can be tight hips, tight lower back, or you might be able to come all the way in and just have a little breath there. <sighs> then we're going to ease ourselves out and extend our legs fully out to the front and just give them a little bit of a, a little bit of a shake off, just easing the space in the back of the knees. While we're here and our legs are hanging out to the front, let's just pop our hands down behind us, both of them, and just lift the chest out and ease the gaze softly upwards. If you like, and only if you like, just easing the head all the way back, please do. If you don't, don't. Just ease your chest out and your gaze softly upwards. And then we're going to bring the chest forward and follow it with the gaze. We're going to bring ourselves over onto our hands and knees. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. So we're like a little table. And then from here, we're going to push the spine to the ceiling. Just spine, push, 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 push up. Let that head hang down and let the hips tuck under. And in this space, this big, this is called a cat back, this big cat back. We're just going to roll around, moving the weight from the hands to the knees. Just trying to make circles in our cat back. Just dead, dead lovely and nice. Now we'll change direction of the circle, but we're staying in the cat back. We're staying in that pressing way of the spine. And then we're going to find our center. And we're going to find the tabletop again. So we're nice and flat in the back. And then lift the tail. Allow the spine to come down and the chest and the gaze to come forward. And we're just going to hold on to what is called the cow back. So our arms are nice and straight. Our pelvis is tilting up and our chest is gazing forward cow back i've never quite seen a cow do this but anyway from here take a soft look over your right shoulder no rushing and then bring your gaze back forward take a soft look over your left shoulder and bring your gaze back forward to the right nice and easy thinking about keeping that gaze forward is going to create an opening in the front chest and in the, in the throat a little bit. And then we're going to find a neutral spine. Then we're going to connect the cat back and the cow back. Spine to ceiling, push, head down. Tail lifts, spine draws down, gaze comes forward, cow back. Inhale to cat back. Pushing through the hands and the spine, exhaling, cat back, stay here. Inhale to cow back, spine drops, tail lifts, gaze comes forward. Exhale here. Inhale, cat, push, 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 push. Don't rush this, you've got a lot of vertebrae there. Then up we go to cow, tail up. Spine down, gaze forward. Let's do one more round. Cat tucking under, hanging down. And cow. Tail up, gazing forward. And then find a neutral spine again, that little tabletop. Take a little breath here. And then I want you to just ease your bottom back towards your feet. And then back to a tabletop. Bottom towards feet. 
Now, some of the things that become um, might feel unpleasant for some of you, especially the guys, is the top of the feet when we put our bottom on our feet because we don't stretch the top of the feet. So we just want to go up and down just a little bit to find maybe a little bit of space around the top of the feet, the front of the shins. Then we're just going to rest our tail back. So you, if you can't stay here in resting your tail back, then come back up a little bit higher. We're going to stay down if we can, though. And reach the hands all the way to the front of the mat. So we're going to call this 12 o'clock. Front of the mat is 12 o'clock. Sending your bottom back to your heels and your fingers to 12 o'clock. Just allow the ribs to stretch. And then take two hands off to ten to. So off to the left, big spread out of the hands, a push back of the tail, and just allow the head to rest down inside the arms and feel that extra long, soft stretch down the right hand side. Then we're going to come back to 12 o'clock. Up it comes. Big stretching. And then we're going to come out to 10 paths. So two hands off to the right. Nice long reach as we settle the head down inside the arms and allow the left side to just ease out and stretch. Then we're going to bring two hands back up to 12 o'clock and come back up onto all fours, back into our tabletop. So we're a little bit easing the pressure on the feet if you're feeling that. From here, we're going to reach the right arm underneath the left. So you come in underneath and putting your right ear all the way down to the floor. Reach your left hand up into the sky and then just drape it behind your back so it just hangs quite lazily behind the back and you'll just feel a nice stretch down that front left shoulder and the back of the right shoulder breathe nice and easy let the space come let it be yours then we're going to unthread the left hand bring it all the way out from behind the back place it on the mat Pushing into the left hand, find your tabletop again. Then we're going to slide the left hand all the way underneath the space where the right arm is. Put your left ear down. Reach your right hand just easily up to the sky and just let it drape around the back. So we've got that lovely front of the right shoulder, back of the left shoulder. <sighs> Just nice and easy, let that space come. Let that breath be soft, try not to screw your face up, keep your jaw soft. And then we're going to unthread the right hand, bring it out, place it on the mat. Ease yourself back onto your tabletop, take a breath. And then come back over onto your bottom. And we're just going to reach two hands behind us again. And push the chest and the gaze to the ceiling. Breathe nice and easy. And from here, we're going to take a little lie down fully all the way down resting our hands on our belly letting our feet flop and then we're just going to take a nice couple of deep deep breaths in feeling the belly rise and out feeling the belly soften in as we feel the belly rise 
and the belly softens and think about lengthening the in breath and lengthening the out breath therefore slowing the breathing down Then relax your hands fully on the floor. Stay connected to the breath, that rise and fall of the belly. Everything's easy. Take a nice big stretch on the mat. Big wiggle of the fingers and the toes. And then when you're ready, just softly ease yourself back up onto your bottoms. And I hope that felt nice and you just feel a little bit more uplifted and a bit more open in the chest. Stay well. Namaste. Our videos are helping people across the world. If you found them useful, please donate on our website so we can keep making more videos like this in the future. Henshaws, supporting people with sight loss and a range of other disabilities to go beyond expectations.